in your old message. Marine Corps Order Number 47, Series 1921, Headquarters, U.S. Marine Corps, Washington, November 1st, 1929, I'm sorry, 1921. The following will be read to the command on the 10th of November, 1921, and hereafter on the 10th of November of every year. Should the order not be received by the 10th of November, 1921, it will be read upon receipt. On November 10, 1775, a Corps of Marines were created by a resolution of the Continental Congress. Since that date, many thousand men have borne the name Marine. In memory of those, it is fitting that we who are Marines should commemorate the birth of our Corps by calling the mind the glories of this long and illustrious history. The record of our Corps is one which will bear comparison with that of the most famous military organization, organizations in the world's history. During 90 of 147 years of its existence of the Marine Corps, has been in action against national foes. From the Battle of Trenton to the Argonne, Marines have fought foremost honors in war. And in the long eras of tranquility at home, generation after generation of Marines have grown gray in war in both hemispheres and in every corner of the seven seas that our country and its citizens might enjoy peace and security. In every battle and skirmish since the birth of our Corps, Marines have acquired themselves with, acquitted themselves with the greatest distinction, winning new honors on each occasion until the term Marine has come to signify all that is highest in military efficiency and soldierly virtue. The high name of distinction and soldierly repute we who are Marines today have received from those who preceded us in the war. With it, we have also received from them the eternal spirit which has animated our corps from generation to generation and has been the distinguishing mark of the Marines in every age. So long as that spirit continues to flourish, Marines will be found equal to every emergency in the future as they have been in the past. And the men of our nation will regard us as worthy successors to the long line of illustrious men who have served as soldiers of the sea since the founding of our Corps. John A. Lejeune, Major General, Commandant. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, the Commander of the Marine Corps message. They might need a communication engineer up there.
himself a better soldier than anybody else. Marines have never given anyone any reason to think differently. We are unique, not just among our fellow citizens, but among all those who defend our nation. We are defined by our warfighting ethos, our intangible warrior spirit that moves us forward into any battle, in any domain, and binds us not only to the Marine on our left and right, but to all Marines who came before us. Current events around the world show us that peace is far from guaranteed. America's adversaries continue to present an ever-evolving threat to our nation's prosperity and security. Today, almost 31,000 Marines are forward deployed and stationed abroad. In every theater, in every time and place, standing ready to confront those who do our nation harm. The American strength is based upon the fabric of all of the different cultures and people that come to it. And that applies on the battlefield, and I've seen that there. That is an essence of the power of the American fighting spirit. For 247 years, capable and determined adversaries have tested the Marine Corps. The enemy knows when they see that ETA and they see a real Marine hooked to that ETA, that could be a serious situation. On each occasion, our forebears gave them reason to fear and respect the title United States Marine. Our adversaries have always had a choice, abandon their aggressions or stand and fight. Some chose to fight and were destroyed. Today, our adversaries still have a choice, and they know if they choose to fight, they will be defeated. From the wheat fields of Bella Wood, to the volcanic sands of Iwo Jima, to the crowded streets of Way City, or Ramadi, Marines prove time and time again they will claim victory on any battlefield. Our mission will stay on the top now. Well, things happen. Situations change. And we got a call that we got in from the Marine Security Guard Force, the uh, RSO, and the driver were involved in a vehicle accident. We were driven out to the crash site, Liberian rebels armed to the teeth with anything that they had. We had to uh, do a makeshift backboard and stabilize them and got all of our personnel. You're trained for it, but you know, there's variables in there that you could never prepare for. And so you just go with it. And while battlefields and technologies change, the qualities of a Marine are timeless. Grit, strength, boldness, discipline, initiative, adaptability, honor, courage, and commitment. It would be impossible for me to say with any amount of confidence that I would be where and who I am today if I didn't have the foundation of being a Marine. The Marine Corps and how it shapes us and the history of courage and sacrifice that we fill the shoes of and that we follow, um, it's almost impossible to not continue on and to not want to become the best version of yourself personally, but professionally as a Marine as well. These qualities were birthed by the legacy of the old Marine. Those like Herschel Woody Williams. He really just was a huge inspiration growing up. I loved warrior figures, and he was the main one. It's the legacy of the Marines who came before us, and of our Marines today. When the nation called, we answered. As America's premier crisis response force, Marines thrive in chaotic situations where friction is highest.
we have to always understand that there's always been troops on the deck taking the fight to the enemy on their distant lands. We are proud to be first to fight. We are ready today and tomorrow. Standing ready with undying devotion to the court, to the mission, and to each other. Our very freedom came under attack in a series of deliberate and deadly terrorist acts. In 2001, when our nation was still reeling from the September 11th terrorist attack, Marines aboard the USS Pelu and the USS Baton came from the sea and launched the longest amphibious raid in history. We came 370 miles from the sea, 25 aircraft. During one period of darkness, we inserted 400 Marines over that distance. We did what we say that we did. We did it in an expeditionary manner. We did it from the ships. And despite uh, a lot of risk, we did it successfully. The same war fighting spirit that secures our victory in combat comes from our ability to innovate, to iterate, to adapt. And we find inspiration in each other. I remember my first cat shot in an F-18 into a combat field. And that was a whirlwind of emotions, right? You're ready to go practice, you're trained, but you're a little bit nervous. That nervousness, though, I think it's good, right? It keeps you sharp. She's more than a national. She is a Marine whose war fighter ego shapes who she is. A battle-tested warrior. 47 combat missions in Iraq and Afghanistan. When I'm sitting on top of that rocket and they start to load the prop and it starts to shake and rumble, I hope that I feel a little bit nervous, keeps me sharp. I hope though that I have this calmness, knowing that I'm trained, my crew is trained, we are ready to go. And I hope that the second that we launch from planet Earth, that I'll just disappear and bring them home. While those who threaten our nation remain, America sleeps well at night knowing the future will be no different. Because the Marines are always standing ready. Across the force, we continue to innovate and experiment in preparation for the future fight. Where we will fight might be uncertain, but we prepare for uncertainty. When called, we will fight and we will win. Today, tomorrow, and in the future, these victories are not won because of our technology or our equipment, but because of all of you, because of everything you do every day to remain the best trained, most professional, most ready force in the world. That has not changed. We are warfighters first and always. If the call comes today to go into combat, we will win. That's no excuse not to be better tomorrow. It is the individual Marines who make up the team. They are the decisive advantage. Whether they're in combat or in competition, training our future Marines for crew training, or preparing to deploy on one of our Marine Expeditionary Units, we have always adapted and changing. Why we fight and why we win is unchanged. It is our ethos, our character, and our unapologetic resolve to be the most capable and most lethal fighting force in the world. Marines, you are writing the next chapter of our war. Our legacy rests upon your shoulders, and I'm confident you will meet the task. Super Fidelis. Happy birthday, Marines.